A man was sawing asbestos cement sheets by hand at a construction site, leaving himself covered in asbestos dust. After work that day, he drove home and entered the house without changing his clothes. He went straight to the bathroom, changed out of his dirty clothes, and tossed them on the floor. His wife noticed the dusty clothes on the ground, picked them up and took them to the yard to shake them off. Unknowingly, she too became covered in asbestos particles. Both the husband and wife inhaled asbestos fibers, completely unaware of the danger they posed. When magnified 100 times, asbestos fibers reveal countless needle-like structures. Invisible to the naked eye, once inhaled, these fibers travel deep into the lungs. Immune cells attempt to break down the fibers, but are instead damaged and killed, triggering the formation of scar tissue around the affected area. Asbestos fibers can remain lodged in the lungs for decades, and the resulting scar tissue continues to grow years after exposure. Eventually, excessive scarring can cause the lungs to fail. By the time 80% of patients are diagnosed, the disease has already reached its advanced stages.